Hi. As a prerequisite to this uh, Sign Butler setup demo, you would need to check a few items. First of all, check if PDF Butler is installed and that it is not expired. This demo will continue to work on the setup guide for PDF Butler, so we will use this uh, Create Your First Quote as a tool here, a setup here that we have done. And if you have done that correctly, then if you go to pdfbutler.configs, there should be a quote doc config as uh, indicated in this setup over here. Next up, you uh, will need to uh, validate that you have Lightning email templates enabled. So if I search for Lightning email templates, they should be enabled because then you can send out emails via sign buffer. So switch them to on and then this is uh, enabled and you are ready to take the next steps. Now we have the prerequisites done. We can start installing uh, Sign Butler. On the Academy, you can go to the Sign Butler Academy and then uh, follow the complete guide. So here you can actually download uh, or directly go to the, our App Exchange page on which you can download and install uh, Sign Butler on your environment. On this uh, sign on this uh, App Exchange, just click the button Get It Now. And then you have to log in. Log in with Salesforce. Select your username or enter your credentials. Select if you want to install it in production or in a sandbox. Here I'm on a development environment, so I'm going to install it in production. Validate if all your information is correct. Accept terms and conditions. Indicate if you want to be contacted by email. And then say that you want to confirm and install. The installation will take a few minutes. And Salesforce will indicate that you can that you have to wait for the installation. When installing, make sure to install for admins only. In our managed package, we have some uh, permission sets, and then it's better to manage permissions via the permission sets that we supply. So we have permission sets for admins, and we have permission sets for users. So install for admins only. Grant access to all of the uh, connections. If later on you say, I only want to connect via our uh, US or via uh, Europe, then of course you can uh, remove all of the other remote sites if that are not required. So here I want to continue. And then the installation process will take place. And this is going to take a few minutes. So this means that it's going to take a little bit longer. You will be sent an email when this message pops up and then you have to wait until uh, the email arrives that everything is installed successfully.
So now the uh, sign butter is set up and installed correctly. We can now continue with the configuration. First of all, let's go to uh, uh, permission sets and then make sure that we set the permission set to uh, the users that require it. In this case, I'm just going to set it to myself. I'm going to go to uh, the sign butter permission set. So there is a sign butter admin permission set and a sign butter user permission set. Every admin should get the admin and users that just need to send out sign requests, they need to have a sign butter user permission set. On the sign butter admin permission set, I will manage the assignments. And then at this case, it's just me and I'm going to assign it to myself. It's already assigned to me. So in this case, I don't have to do anything. But if uh, there is other people you have to assign it to, make sure to get these people uh, uh, the permission set assigned. Then when that is assigned, I can go to the Sign Butler uh, app. So in the Sign Butler app, I now first step have to go to the Admin tab and then complete the registration for Sign Butler. Remember that when you installed for PDF Butler uh, and registered for PDF Butler, uh, we told you to uh, keep safe the credentials and those credentials are now required. So I'm going to paste here the uh, my PDF Butter username, and I'm going to also copy paste my uh, PDF Butter password. That is the admin password. You will have received two passwords, an admin password and a user password. In this case, we have to enter the admin password. Then I click the button check credentials. And then I say allow so that sign butter can connect to the environment. When all of that is done, then this uh, setup is now complete. This part of the setup is now complete and we can continue with the other uh, tasks ahead. I can close this one. Let's go back to, uh, to setup. And in setup, I'm gonna have to look for deliverability. So uh, it's email deliverability in this case. And uh, I need to check that the email deliverability access level is set to all emails. So sign butter will actually use uh, PD, uh, use your Salesforce environment to send out the emails, which is of course much more safe than any other external tool uh, being able to send out emails in your name. So all emails, and when this is set, then make sure to save it that this setup is also correct. To continue, we're going to link our sign request object, which is part of our uh, sign butler package, to the record or to the object that we want to sign from. So here is my sign request object, and I'm going to create a new field. The field is going to be of type lookup. So it's a lookup relationship. And because in our example, we want to start from an opportunity like this one over here, we actually want to select the opportunity uh, object over here. Obviously, when you want to start from a quote or from a contract, then just relate it to an other uh, object. If you say I have use cases from a quote and from opportunity and from contract and any kind of custom object, not a problem. You can just create multiple lookup fields from the sign request object to the object that you want to link to. Okay, so opportunity, the field name is going to be called opportunity. And then I'm going to do next to create a field. Yeah, it can be visible for everybody. So I let you choose which kind of uh, settings that you want. And uh, on the sign request layout, I don't want to add the uh, anything here. So, okay, same thing here. I will remove all of the uh, lookups now. I'm going to keep them. So I'm going to keep all of the lookups over here so that we have a nice lookup from the uh, uh, opportunity object or from the opportunity page layout to the, um, to the sign request. Now let's save. Cool. With this being done, uh, we have now linked our uh, sign request to an opportunity. That's a good step. And now we have to uh, start defining which is going to be the signer of our uh, sign request. 
So in our setup here, we have one contact role. This person here is Jack Rogers. So it's going to be the primary contact. And that's the contact that I want to uh, uh, select for my signing. So I'm going to create a new data source. of type Sokol, and then I'm going to create a primary signer. Okay, this is a single object because I only want one signer in our case, and then I can say that I'm going to use the Sokol builder to actually generate this uh, uh, the data source. So I'm going to go from the uh, contact roles. Okay, so it's the opportunity contact role that I need here. So I'm going to select this object, uh, this uh, object, yeah. Then I'm going to say primary, I'm going to select the primary. I'm going to select the opportunity ID because I only want the roles linked to that opportunity, obviously. Then I'm going to get the contact ID. And from the contact, I'm going to follow the relationship. And I'm going to also use the, uh, the, the first name the last name and the email on our contact. So now I'm going to add a filter. The filter will be that the opportunity ID equals the record ID. So add this filter and then save my query. So now I have a query that selects my contact and that needs to sign the sign request. So next up is go and do the configuration for the sign request. For this, I'm gonna to go to the sign butler uh, app. And in the sign butler app, the admin will see that there is a sign request template. In the sign request template, I'm gonna generate a new one. And then I have to specify all of the information here. So my sign request template is, let's say, let's call this uh, quote signing. The object that I want to start off uh, from is the opportunity object. Then uh, I'm going to select the data source. So that's my primary signer, that's the data source I just created. Um, then if I have more uh, signers, then I can have more uh, data sources if required. Uh, the sign request name, uh, this can be, for instance, a um, formula field on the opportunity. Uh, because these are all text fields on the opportunity. So in our case, I'm going to use the name of the opportunity as the name of my sign request. Uh, branding, we're not going to use for now. All of these options can be unchecked. Uh, also, if you want to have more information on all of these options, then uh, you can just follow that on our academy, obviously. I'm going to uncheck this one because I don't want uh, the URL to expire. I want to be able to reuse it multiple times. Next, then I'm going to select a signer here. So the signer will uh, have the opportunity to scribble and a handwritten uh, signature method. Then I'm going to say this is my data source. Um, this is the contact ID. That's the ID of the signer. This is important to link the signer uh, to the correct contact. Then this first name, last name, email, and the language. In this case, I'm going to use English. Uh, hard-coded English. Of course, if you have a multi-language setup, follow that on our academy on how to set up the right language. And then add the signer, uh, the signer, click next and submit. So our sign request template is ready. So now we can uh, continue with the other items in our setup. As we are uh, sending out the, the emails via Salesforce, all our emails are in, uh, are in Lightning email templates. So if I'm gonna go here to email templates, then I can do all folders. And in the all folders, I will have SignButter emails. So in the SignButter emails, you have all the emails that SignButter requires. You can of course clone the emails here and then have your own uh, branded emails. How to do that will be in our academy. But in our case, I have to make sure that uh, I actually have access to these emails. So I need to share these emails with any user that requires these uh, emails to use. So that can be view access or edit access or manage access. But normally a user should at least have view access on these emails. 
If a user does not have view access, obviously he cannot use uh, Sign Butler or send out emails via Sign Butler. So um, yeah, this uh, my user is already there uh, here. So okay, that's fine. I don't have to do anything. I can just click done. So that's reviewed. In the last step, we are going to uh, create a pack. So that's a PDF butter pack. Let's create a new one. And this is going to be a sign quote uh, opportunity. Opportunity. The doc config that we want to use is the quote doc config. So that's the uh, doc config that you want to send out. Let's save this. And then it's going to require an actionable. So an actionable is actually sending out the sign request. So they're going to use the sign butter actionable. Next. And then I'm going to call this actionable sign opportunity. It's not linked to a doc config. It's linked to a pack. So I can leave it at that. The class that I need, you can actually find that class directly here in the uh, setup and register. This is the class. So I'm going to copy it from here. And paste it. Okay, so my that is my class. I'm gonna indicate that it's active. So if it's not active, it's not gonna run. And then I have to select my sign request template. So that's uh, the template, and it knows which emails it that it has to send out, uh, how to select the signers, and everything. So I'm gonna select the quote signing template and save. So my uh, pack is now created. So now I can start sending out the uh, sign requests for this quote uh, with this uh, pack. To uh, send out this quote, we actually have to add a sign placeholder to the quote. So I'm going to go to my quote doc config. I'm going to open this quote doc config in a PDF better configuration screen. And then I'm going to download my documents. Okay. In my document, I currently do not have any, uh, any signers set. So I can do two things now. Um, I can select a signing placeholder from the academy. So uh, on our academy, over here, you will find a signing placeholder, which you can uh, copy and then, and then use, or you can uh, download all of the placeholders. If you say I have three signers or multiple signers, then this will download the zip file with all of the signers. But you can also just use uh, a config type and a config type needs a merge field. So what I'm going to do here is actually um, create a new config type and then I'm going to call this one signer one. Signer one. Okay, save my quote. Then I'm gonna uh, upload the new quotes into the configuration. Okay, and then I have to create and I add a config type. In my config type, I'm gonna go for the type um, sign placeholder. Uh, if you have multiple signers and you want to have, or you have multiple uh, cases where the sign, the first signer has to sign, then you cannot say that the, uh, it can be reset. Um, so you can indicate that you want to have a smaller image or a bigger image. So I'm going to go for 100% now. The uh, field that I need is signer one. <laughs> Signer one, and then I'm gonna <coughs> I'm gonna call this also signer one. Okay, so that's done. Let's click OK and then press Save to server. So um, we are done here. Our uh, configuration is done. 
uh, we have created the doc config, we have created the pack. The only last step that we need to do is actually test it. I'm gonna copy this, uh, this ID and then I'm gonna go to my opportunity. In the opportunity, I already have the previewer. So what I'm gonna do is edit page. And then select my previewer and indicate that I want to have a pack called. So this is the pack. Okay, let's save. Say changes saved. Okay, and now I can test that I actually can run this configuration. So we now have generated the document, all of the information is there. We have the sign placeholder here, and now I can, in the, uh, I can send it out for signing. So I'm gonna click sign opportunity. Then it will take this document, take the configuration of the sign request template and send it out. Uh, you will see that there is an, uh, in the related list that there is now a sign request. So I can just go to the sign request and see that it's actually being sent out. So uh, we already have an email uh, and a stack trace. So everything uh, is sent out correctly. 